Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Say hi there, Mr. Budman. Hi there, Mr. Budman. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on this episode of I Should Have Bought It When I Saw It. 62 T-Bird loaded to the gills with that. We're going to take some time and walk around this car. Don't forget to uh, click on the like button below. Make sure to subscribe as well. And give us some comments, man. Let's talk about this car a little bit. Don't talk about me because uh, you don't want to waste your time. Let's talk about what happened with this car. Maybe the time, the era, maybe some music that came out there. You should check out some of the cool tunes that came out uh, during this time as well. Don't forget too, uh, I'd love to hear some stories about whether you rode in the car. Maybe you uh, rode in one and you couldn't afford it at the time, but now you can and now you're thinking of finally getting one. That's the kind of stories that make uh, for great headlines. People love that stuff as well. So let's throw some chat in there and we'll talk a little bit about it. All right, this car here, beautifully restored. Underneath, top, interior, everything. And I have a feeling the reason why somebody spent so much money restoring this car is because it had so much equipment to begin with. So when we walk around this car, this car probably has uh, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands more in optional equipment, right, than the regular T-Bird convertibles uh, that you might have seen in the past. So we'll take a second first and we'll start with this uh, beautiful, beautiful paint. And I like to make sure that you can see it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick if we could. See how clear every letter is there? I should do this for a reason because although there's lots of video out there and people can hold this and you'll say, oh yeah, I can see that in there. No, you can't see that in there. What you need to see is every crispness of the letter in there. That tells you the quality of the paint. If you were to go hold it up to your pickup truck or something like that, that doesn't really need to be the shiniest paint ever. You'll see that everything is not as crisp and clean. Some of the things that make this car beautiful, right, that over other ones and, and expensive items as well. Real wire wheels with real white wall radials, right? This setup alone, almost $3,000 just for this setup alone. This comes with fender skirts as well, so it gives a completely different look. We took the fender skirts off, right? And we'll put them back on in just a few moments so that uh, Colin will take a picture for you and you can see the difference between on and off. All right, let's take a peek under here because even if you don't work on your own cars, you might go to a car show or something like that. Check this out here. This is the Ram Air, okay, from the scoop here. Fresh, cold air coming right in here, so it's not taking all the hot air from inside the engine compartment. They were looking for the most power in these cars. They were still sports cars. Even though they were a little big, they were still sporty. We have power brakes. We have power steering. We have air conditioning. We have a beautifully detailed engine compartment. And you say, well, Tom, that's great. It has power steering and power brakes. Uh, so what? Well, so what means this is that most of these cars did not come standard with all of these things that you think about. A lot of muscle cars in the past didn't come with power steering or power brakes. It was manual steering, drum hard, no power brakes, and here we have some luxury stuff. And we throw in air conditioning as well. This car was very, very expensive for its time. All right, so look at the size of the rear seat here. Everybody can have some room. This is a nice full-size car. Seat belts are for people back here. If you need us to add an extra seat belt in here or fix this for you, we can make the whole seat flat right there. So it can always be returned back to stock. But this way, if you had three kids or needed an extra seat belt for some reason, we could do that. Come and join me in here for a minute because I want to spend a sec of time. You say, I see a lot of people look at this and go, oh my God, like what happened to the steering column? It's my favorite thing to do because back in the day, this was a tilt away steering column. Look how much easier it is to get in and out. Why are cars not built that way today? This locks right in place, right? Doesn't move it. You got the full console here. Here we have power windows, right? Power 
locks. We have uh, full gauges, 120 mile speedometer, and a working clock. You say, well, of course it's a working clock. Don't all clocks work? No, most clocks don't work. First off, the clock probably didn't work two years after this car was made. Secondly, when you restore a car, a lot of people don't do the extra effort for that. I only show you that because you know what? If somebody's making the clock work, that means they worked on a lot of the other stuff too to make those, those things work as well, all right? Uh, we talked about the tilt wheel. We talked about air conditioning, upgraded digital sound system here, right? Which kind of still looks the same and looks stock and Sorry, I had a squirrel moment at uh, a little bit of stones. So we close up the video on this spectacular 62 D-Bird. I mean, the color combination, first off, fabulous. The wire wheels with the radial tires. Uh, and then we roll into things like factory air conditioning and power windows and power convertible top, of course. The tilt-away steering column. Uh, it goes on and on. The wire wheels we talked about, we, I keep looking at those going, what a great touch to this car. And uh, I don't know, I just feel like when you look at it, you go, man, I've got to figure a way to get that. And that's exactly what we need to do. We need to figure a way to help you get that car into your garage. So don't forget to uh, click on the link below for more info. Call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it. And we need to go ahead and work on turning this into this.